Uh, is Donald Trump electable in 2024, bearing in mind that you have a history with Mr. Trump? Yeah, yeah bear in mind, I do have a history. Everybody knows my, our, our feelings toward each other, I guess I'd say. My point is, we're going to win so badly, we're going to want to beat Biden and the Democrats in 2024, that we won't nominate Trump because we want to win. The new swing voter in American politics is the suburban voter. And it's really clear the suburban voter doesn't like Trump, but they like Republicans. So I think anybody not named Trump, I think, is so much more likely to win the White House for us. And it's sort of like what the Democrats did. What They went from Dean to John Kerry in 04. They went from Bernie to Hillary in 16. They went from Bernie and Elizabeth Warren to Joe Biden to win in 2020. I think the same thing's going to be for us. We're going to want to win the White House so badly and beat the Democrats. And we know we're so much more likely to lose with Trump because of the fact that he, he's not popular with suburban voters that we're going to want to win. And that's why I think we've got a great stable of candidates, any of whom are really capable of not just getting the nomination, but winning the general election. Are you a DeSantis guy? I like all of them. Look, I'm, I'm not one of these things. I, I like Ron. I like Glenn Youngkin. I like Mike Pompeo, Nikki Haley, Mike Pence, you yeah. name it. Any one of these candidates would make a fine president and most importantly, will win the White House. And, and why would we want to risk um, giving the nomination to somebody that we, we know? We haven't lost, my party hasn't lost this much this fast than we had with Trump. We lost the House, the Senate, and the White House in the span of two years. I don't want to repeat that. I want to win. And that's why I think we're going to nominate somebody who can win.